Hi you guys, it's only me. Um, it's the 12th of March and it's time to get some more seeds sown. Um, ones I'm doing today are tomato, cucumber and peas. Um, I'll just show you the ones that I've got. Oh, right. Costaluto Fiorentino. I'm not 100% sure if that's a, um, a cooking one or a... Um, salad one not 100 sure about that one um uh, i have uh roma i grew these last year but because i got blight so early they didn't do very well so i'm going to give them another go and they're definitely cooking ones um let's have a look i've got another cooking one uh san mazzano and another Italian red plum. Now then, I'd never heard of these, um, but this is a tomato sweet pea currant. Um, I'll bring that closer so you can read it. It says, producing thousands of pea-sized sweet red berries like beads on a necklace. And the tomatoes. Um, and it says it can be trained to make a six foot waterfall constantly dripping with fruit. Now, I like the sound of that. Um, I've, I know where I'm going to put these. Um, I'm not going to use hanging baskets because for me personally, I think they're too small. Um, they dry out too quick. But I'm thinking of putting um, oh, bring it into shot. This is a, a flower bucket. It's a ten inch flower bucket. And I'm thinking of um, growing them in there. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> and um, putting some kind of shelving up around the top of the fence so they can cascade down. So really interesting to see those um all right so based on a recommendation from a channel that i subscribe to which is ut33200 um a lovely husband and wife and son team um he recommended cherokee purple tomatoes he says they're one of the nicest tasting he's tasted so i'm going to give them a bash um, they're not native to the UK, but we will give them a bash. And last but not least for tomatoes is some that I've actually saved, which are store-bought. And these are Sunstream. Now, I absolutely adore these. Um, the tiny plum salad tomatoes, and they are very, very sweet, really tasty. And if a shop-bought one can be that tasty, can you imagine what it's going to be like when I home grow them? So, I'm going to give them a bash. So that's the tomatoes. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, cucumbers. You'll recognise crystal apple. I grew these last year. Absolutely love these. Um, no bitterness to them at all. Um, unusual round apple shaped um, cucumbers um, pickle absolutely brilliant taste brilliant in salads and sandwiches and I'm definitely growing them again this year um, I'm growing some traditional long ones market more 76 I'm going to sow some mini cucumbers I'm going to go for these ones called Beth Alpha these are Italian so give them a go they're new to me and then I'm going to be sowing some gherkins for pickling because my kids love these so um yeah that's the tomatoes sorry not tomatoes cucumbers I've got tomatoes on the brain right so peas I'm sowing two varieties. I'm sowing a normal um, 
one, which is um, Deuce Provence. Now this is quite a hardy one, a winter hardy one, but because the um, weather boffins are saying we're going to get another cold snap, similar to the bees from the east around Easter time, I'm not going to plant these direct. Um, I'm going to start them off in my little um, homemade pea guttering. I'm also going to be sowing some um, petit pois. This is um, Waverex. Now I normally sow, um, what's it called, peewee. But I cannot get hold of them. I've searched for months and months to try and get hold of them. And I didn't have any um, in stock myself. I didn't save any. Um, I think I sold the last ones last year. And I really wish I'd just kept them and dried them. But these things happen um so yeah i've gone for this variety this year so i'm going to be sewing some of those um not just yet i'm going to need that a couple of weeks and then sew those but the um uh, deuce provence i'm definitely going to be sewing today <coughs> right now then my homemade pea guttering and that's what it looks like it's basically Two tetra packs, the one litre varieties. That I cut one side off, opened um, this bit out, I uh, put two together, so I had one like that. And joined them like that. And I put um, this bit that you unfold, I put it inside that one and then gaffer taped it up I haven't put any um, drainage holes in I'm going to leave it as is mainly because when I come to slide the whole lot out in the pea trench that I'll dig I don't want the uh, roots um, snapping off if they've been poking through the drainage holes so I'll just keep my eye on watering them so that's my little pea guttering um, it's about 50 centimeter long so I'll be sewing four of those per row and I'll have two, possibly three. I'm still trying to work out how everything's going to slot together because I don't have a lot of room. Sneaky because they're hiding. Yeah, in there. Alright, are you going to do the same see. again? Okay. Okay. So, there's four at the middle. And there's the um, one. Five. 
and my tomatoes have come through and the cucumbers that my son sowed have come through too and the peas have come through they came through within three days there they are All four makeshift uh, pea cuttering. So anyway, thanks for watching. And I will see you guys on the next one. Ta-ta for now. Bye.